Mariano Seu, 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 Seu. Jeremy, Jeremy. Ah, Familia. En José, en José, en José. No metimos fue a te. It's me, it's a sua. Make sure you hit like, share, subscribe. Go in the description box to read Mika Worldwide's court document. See it for yourself. Also, big shout out to at the social vibe. You can go follow her channel in the description below. In today's video, we shall be looking at five things you didn't know about the YouTuber Miko Worldwide. The Miko Worldwide channel is owned by Michael Wolfgang Nicole. Although he is popularly known as Miko Worldwide, his channel name. His YouTube has 77.4 thousand subscribers with 214 uploaded videos. He posts random videos that shares his life. Some of them can get a bit raunchy. Let us have a look at the five things you didn't know about Miko Worldwide. Number one. Convicted by United States Justice? Nico was reportedly convicted by the United States Justice System on account of sexually abusing minors. The facts of his case states that he supplies narcotics to 10-year-old minor and then proceeded to sexually abusing the child. He then finished it off and left the child tied to both his feet and arms and left unattended at the trunk of his vehicle. Number 2. Arrested in Colombia? Although the crime and conviction were set forth by the United States, Nico was arrested in the country of Colombia. He was detained in Medellin in a restaurant in Laurel's neighborhood, one of the most, if not the most touristy spots in the Medellin. He was then handed out to the Migration Colombia to start his deportation process. Number three, crime repeater. One may not believe the crimes Nickel did as he is a public figure and these influencers know best to be away from public scrutiny. However, the abuse was one of repetition. Back in 2012, he was also indicted for sexual crimes against another minor, also 10 years old, in the United States, also 10 years old, in the states of Georgia. Number 4. Charity Fakes Officials suspect that Nichols' act of charity works may have been staged after all in order to cover up his abusive nature. Colombia authorities who arrested the YouTube identity stated that his visiting another country's and publishing charity-related videos was a front to sexually abuse children all over these places. What do you guys think? Comment down below your thoughts. Number 5. Increasing subscribers. Despite his unclean history of crimes, statistics show that his subscriber rank is going up. His like rate is also two times higher his dislike rate. He also holds a high rate for views watching his live streams. Do you want to subscribe to Miko Worldwide? Comment your thoughts. Leave a comment in the comment section below if there's anything else you'd like us to know about Miko Worldwide. Make sure to also like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed watching the video.